And welcome to the bullpen. I'm your host, Anthony Boltadero. I'm here with Bobby Garcia and Gil Robles. They're freshman baseball players, and they are from Puerto Rico. So, guys, uh, what brought you to Goshen College? What persuaded you to come here and play baseball? Yeah, well, my mom works at a Mennonite school, so she she really uh, knew about this college because they are in the same association. But Adriana Ortiz, she's the admission counselor here. Uh, she went to Puerto Rico to my mom's school and gave orientations about the college, and that's how I knew about the school. Then uh, Ariana needed to recruit more students, so my mom, uh, I wasn't in my mom's school. I was in a Puerto Rico, in the Puerto Rico Baseball Academy and high school uh, school. Uh, so my mom told Ariana to go to there because they, my school is about baseball. Every, every student is a baseball player. And she said, oh, well, that would be great because we have a baseball team and we can recruit players. And there's when Bobby came into place. Um, <clears throat> as, as he said, we went to the same high school. And when he came from a visit here in Goshen, uh, he kind of said, um, told us like uh, on our orientation to like, the students, um, the seniors. And <clears throat> then she came to me and said, like, hey, you should come with me um, so we can be both um, playing and we don't have to be alone. So how is college baseball here different in America than it is in Puerto Rico? Uh, well, in Puerto Rico, we play a uh, different style of baseball. We play like uh, everything is hitting. We don't focus that much at, at, in pitching a lot. So uh, the majority of the pitchers, uh, they throw they throw fastball, and everything. All all we see the majority of the time is fastball. And if they throw a curve, it's a bad curve. It's not like here. They depend a lot in off speed pitches. So when you go to Puerto Rico, uh, if you play in the in a good league, you're gonna see uh, almost every pitcher is gonna be over 85 miles per hour or 84. Uh, so here they don't have that same mileage every single player but they have off speed pitches and that's what is a little bit hard for us but since the season started we are adjusting and we have made uh, the right adjustments yeah <clears throat> as he said uh in Puerto Rico pitchers and every position player just focus in like the velo um and yeah most of the pitches are fastballs like you won't see that much um low velo pitches or stuff like that okay. and if there's a pitcher who has uh the fastball ev everyone has the fastball but if he has the off speed pitches uh most of the time they get drafted because they have 89 and 90 and if they have an off speed uh, that's a good okay. attention for from the scouts right. they get, yeah Okay, so what are you guys' plans for this summer? Are you going to go back home and play baseball? Are you going to do any kind of volunteer work or anything? Um, yeah, I'm thinking about going back to Puerto Rico and visiting my family, uh, my mom, be with them, uh, have some quality time with them. I've missed like five months without seeing them, so it's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm also going to play a lot of baseball because we in Puerto Rico, we have summer ball. We play baseball every time. That's like the the first sport in Puerto Rico, so yeah, I'm probably going to be playing uh, baseball. Okay, what about you, Bob? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going back to play and like get better, I guess, uh, get stronger, working out, and yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do, just okay. play and work out. Okay. Uh, this past September, uh, Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico. Uh, was your family or friends affected by the storm? Uh, yeah, my mom was really affected by the storm. Uh, we don't lo we didn't lose the house, but uh, we lost the garage because our garage was uh, the ceiling was not uh, of cement, so it all came ripped off, and uh, it's like two thousand dollars damage. But uh, our our car is is not that bad, so. We still have a car. Uh, the light just came because we live in the northern part of Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and that's like the best part to be because uh, we have the most economic resources there. And the, all the malls and 
basically the city is like in the northern part of Puerto Rico, so I'm not that bad, but there's people in the center part of Puerto Rico who need help. And I actually went in December and I helped, uh, uh, I brought food to the needed persons. I went to Orocobis, Barranquitas, the center part of Puerto Rico and helped a lot. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, <coughs> I didn't have the opportunity to go back to Puerto Rico um, in fall break or in December. Um, but my mom or my dad, when like neither of them were damaged about um, the hurricane, mm -hmm. just my mom's house had um, a lot of water inside the house. And yeah, in my dad's house, um, trees went in top of the cars and break them. But yeah, um, apart of that, Everything is okay. Okay. Well, cool. I'm Anthony Boltzero, and this has been the Bullpen, and you're watching 574 Sports. Thanks for joining us. And that's all for this month. Join me again on the Bullpen on 574 Sports.